Hi there, my name's Amy Bexer. Welcome to Rolls Royce in Dunfermline. So most people think that Rolls Royce make cars. Actually, we haven't made cars since the 70s. Rolls Royce makes engines for aerospace, um, aero engines that you might go on your holidays, and we make large thrusters and power all sorts of propulsion for marine ships, some of the largest ships in the world. Hello Amy, thank you very much for agreeing to talk to us today. Um, can you tell us how you came into the world of languages? Well, to be honest, when I studied languages um, at high school, I actually really hated French for the first two years. Okay. Um, I really didn't like it. I hadn't done any languages at primary school. I found it very difficult. Uh, and then I got the chance to start doing Spanish, and that was when I realised that actually I quite enjoyed doing Spanish because mm -hmm. we went to Spain on holiday. Um, and yeah, I somehow managed to realise I was maybe quite good at languages and decided to do them for standard grade and higher. Okay. And what did you end up studying at university? I actually ended up studying French and Spanish at university, okay. which is surprising for someone who originally hated French at high school. Uh, but by the end of high school, I'd, like I say, I'd realised I was maybe quite good at languages and um, I, I'm really interested in meeting and learning about people from different cultures and languages is a big part of that. Okay, thank you. What did you think about doing, Amy, uh, once you had finished your degree? Um, so I was never someone who had um, a, a life plan of I definitely want to do this job or I definitely want to do that job. Um, I knew that I was interested in travelling, um, I was very interested in um, customer management, customer services type roles um, through part-time jobs at university. Um, so I was looking for an opportunity to travel and I was looking for something that was focused around customer facing type jobs. Um, so I put all of that into a search engine and Rolls Royce popped up um, in the top of the search results as international opportunities were guaranteed and it was a customer management graduate program, graduate training program. So that then took you into Rolls Royce? Yes, so I joined um, as a graduate aged uh, 22, yeah. Okay. How did your degree in languages get you your job at Rolls Royce? Well, as I'm sure a lot of students are aware now, um, a degree is often not enough to compete for a business type role uh, in a company like Rolls Royce. So you've really got to have other things on your CV. Um, so I already had some experience um, leading the student newspaper at Strathclyde University, um, doing some voluntary work with the charity committee and being involved in the debate society. Um, but having a year abroad on your CV, you know, that really sets you apart. Um, because that's something that not all that many students will have. Um, so I spent a summer in France learning French at a university there and I spent a year in Spain teaching English in a college. Um, and that experience of living in Spain is really, you know, it was the best year of my life um, in terms of being able to be so independent, move to a foreign country, speak that foreign language, make lots of mistakes in the foreign language along the way, um, which I'll remember forever, um, becoming very much more culturally aware, learning about a different society, how people live and work, um, and yeah, just feeling, you know, setting up, calling somewhere else home for a year. Uh, that's the kind of thing that Rolls Royce is looking for, people who are able to, to move around, to be geographically mobile, they say, um, not afraid to go into you know, customer meetings with people from all over the world, um, not afraid to move to a different country for work reasons. Okay, and how have languages impacted on your, your time at Rolls-Royce, Amy? So, um, although I don't speak French and Spanish every day, um, there have been certain opportunities to speak um, the languages that I know. Um, I was lucky enough to be asked to represent Rolls-Royce at the Paris Air Show one year, um, which is a huge industry event for us. Um, and so I was very proud that because I was able to speak French, I was able to represent the company at that. Um, I also spent six months living and working in Texas, where you know a huge amount of the population speaks Spanish as their first language. And being able to um, make new friends and just talk to, to people in both English and Spanish really opens up a, a section of society that I wouldn't have got to know so well um, had we only been talking in English. Um, so they're really the key opportunities. Um, I do travel a lot with my work, 
so um, probably one of my highlights was when I went to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, um, where obviously they speak Portuguese, um, but if you're able to uh, understand Spanish very well, then you're probably able to make do um, through conversation there if someone can't speak any English. So um, it was good, really good to be able to use my Spanish in that way as well. Okay, great. Have you had an opportunity to learn any other languages whilst you're at uh, Rolls-Royce? Um, so everywhere that I've uh, lived for work, I've always been able to speak the language anyway, but there have been opportunities where just learning a little um, of a new language really opens doors and makes customers feel at ease in particular, or even other employees in different countries. So I go to Norway a lot with my work, um, and I've been enjoying trying to learn some phrases in, in Norwegian. In Norway, you know, a lot of people do speak English very well, but there are still times where um, you find people who don't. And, you know, just even being able to say a few introductory words and phrases, um, you know, really shows that you're willing to make an effort. So a little bit of language, even if it's uh, quite random, you know, does go a long way. Um, so that's really the main opportunities that I've had, because most recently I'm going to Norway about once every two months. Um, so that's quite a lot. Um, and then uh, actually I'm just about to move. Uh, my husband and I are moving to Singapore with work. So uh, obviously the first language in Singapore is actually English, but a lot of people speak Mandarin and Malay. So I imagine that I will be keen to pick up some phrases of those languages uh, once we move out there. So that's very exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, well, we, we wish you all the best in Thank your you. new venture abroad. That <laughs> sounds really exciting. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Amy. And do keep in touch.